Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jay Mass and I'm back again with another dope New England adventure. So unfortunately I wasn't able to film or upload to fit my typical Tuesday uploading schedule, but nonetheless I wanted to provide you guys with some dope New England exploration content. So you're probably going to see this video come up on my channel later in the week, but that's all right. I'm going to take you guys with me and we're going to explore another pretty cool abandoned site. Now I will say this is going to be a very quick and brief exploration. This is actually a local spot that I've been to many times in the past. Really not too much to it. It's small, not a lot going on, but I still want to bring you guys with me. I didn't want to leave you hanging this week. So you can kind of consider this to be a brief supplemental exploration video, nothing major. Uh, but that being said, we are back in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. Tingsboro is a town that I've already explored two abandoned sites in. So this is actually my third urban exploration video in Tingsboro. Yeah, it's weird. Tingsboro has a lot of abandoned buildings. No clue why. And there's still more too. Like there's more I haven't even filmed yet. Uh, but this is the third Tingsboro, Massachusetts abandoned exploration. Not too much going on here though. It's actually a small garage and you can see it's directly behind me. This is an abandoned garage, or I think it's a garage, could be a shed, maybe even a small shack. It's a really small abandoned building. And the main reason this is gonna be short is because I know nothing about this. No history, no details, no contextual information. It's just an abandoned garage I discovered years ago. It's a local spot I've gone to several times. And even to this day, I know nothing about it. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me to this local spot I've been to many times and this brief supplemental urban exploration video. Again, nothing major, don't have your hopes too high. And I know this is coming out later in the week, just wanted to bring you guys with me. But as always guys, my name is Jay Mass. If you love abandoned sites, urban exploring and traveling New England, I'm always doing that on the channel. So feel free to subscribe to the channel or you can follow me on Instagram at Jay Mass Official. That's at Jay Mass Official. But we're going to get started and check out this abandoned garage here in the town of Tingsboro, Massachusetts on this very short but unique abandoned exploration. Let's just get right into it. Let's get started. Woo! All right, guys. So this is the abandoned garage itself. Again, it's not very big. It's actually a pretty small structure. And I'm also not even entirely sure if this was a garage. I believe it was just because it has garage doors, uh, two in fact. However, the inside also has a couple rooms and stuff, so it could have been a shack, maybe a shed. I don't know, whatever it is, it's an abandoned structure here in the middle of the woods in Tingsboro. And I really do mean in the middle of the woods. We're completely surrounded by trees and foliage. There is a road over there, but yeah, we're deep in the woods right now. And it's pretty thick foliage, pretty thick trees. And it's also buggy as fuck. There are so many mosquitoes and horse flies and bugs over here. Yeah, not, not very nice. <laughs> But we're gonna get started and explore this. Um, again, I do wanna reiterate, I know nothing about this spot. I have looked, believe me, and there's just no information about it. So this is probably the most obscure abandoned site I've ever filmed on this channel. You know, at least with other stuff, I can find like the year it was founded or maybe the year was demolished or abandoned. Nothing here, I have no information. This is by far the most obscure and niche abandoned site I've explored. All right, enough yapping, let's go inside. So this is the interior of this strange abandoned garage. You can see it's completely destroyed. I mean, check all this out. There's debris everywhere, rotting wood. That's the main thing you see when you come in here, rotting wood. I mean, this thing has decayed significantly, probably just a result of weathering many New England storms. Of course, there's trash everywhere. This always kind of <laughs> took me by surprise. There's a corner right here with just tons of bottles, you know, plastic bottles. And it's just random shit. You got orange juice, milk, water. It's weird. They're all just sitting here. These have been here for years. I don't remember the exact year I discovered this place, but it was a couple years back, maybe three or four. I don't live too far away from Tingsboro, so I've been to Tingsboro so many times, and this place is pretty well hidden. I wouldn't even be surprised if you're from Tingsboro and have never seen the spot. It genuinely is a very obscure and niche abandoned site, but it's a cool one even if it's small. Okay, so this is one of the garage doors. Again, this is what leads me to believe this was a garage at some point. Now, there's just a garage on the site. There's no other abandoned building, so it's not like this is a garage and there's a house nearby. This is literally the only abandoned building on the site, which is why it's strange to me. I mean, why would there just be a garage and nothing else? I have a couple theories, and as we walk around, I'll tell you them. I mean, I got a huge tank right here too. I'm not sure what this was, maybe gasoline. So one of my theories is that this might have been some sort of auto body shop or mechanics shop. I find that a lot of uh, auto shops look like garages, 
even though they also function as offices and you know have storage and stuff so i do think this might have been some sort of business potentially an auto body shop or mechanic shop it just looks like it to me and uh, in a second we'll get to one of the building uh rooms that could have been an office uh, you got the fuel box right over here the other theory I have is that there was a house on this property at one point. This was the garage and there was an actual house, but the house has since been demolished and they just left the garage for whatever reason. That is a possibility too. And as you guys have probably seen, if you've been watching my channel for the two years now, you've seen the other two abandoned houses I've explored in Tingsboro. Those were abandoned houses. Tingsboro is no stranger to abandoned houses. <laughs> so I don't know. Those are just theories. Oh, and then the third is that I think it could have just been another business, you know, um, I believe there are some signs of potential businesses in here, but we'll keep digging around. All right, so this room right here always kind of fascinated me. This looks like an office room. Got a huge table right here, or a desk, uh, made out of metal. It's rusted away quite a bit. A lot of drywall and uh, tiling. I mean, just debris everywhere. I'm not going to bore you guys with the details. There's debris and trash everywhere. However, this is what leads me to believe my third theory, that this was some sort of business laser hair removal specials serenity spawn salon now i might do some research when i get home about serenity spawn salon because i don't know if that was this building we're in right now but i have a theory that this building could have been a spa or salon i sort of lean towards it being an auto shop or mechanic shop but i don't know could be a spa or salon let's uh peek in this room right here now this is the other room in the abandoned garage. Check this out. Not too much going on in here. A lot of trash here, of course. Uh, more bottles, insulation, debris. I mean, it's disgusting. It's gross in here. <laughs> Completely covered in trash. I remember the very first time I came here though, I was freaked out because it does appear like there's signs of squatters. For example, this huge blanket or mattress, whatever this is, this thing creeps me out. It creeps, it creeped me out the very first time I came here. And then this thing has also been here for quite a while, random jacket. I remember the first time I came here walking in, I saw this jacket just hang up on the wall and I actually thought someone was in here. So that's pretty freaky, but I've never encountered anyone in here. I don't actually think squatters even know about this place. And then you got some more destruction, some more structural, you know, degradation right here. The, the ceiling is just completely collapsed. It actually looks like a tree or a log has hit it, but yeah, more rotting wood, destroyed ceiling. This thing has clearly weathered many snowstorms, rainstorms, thunderstorms, you name it. Debris everywhere, trash. I mean, that's the name of the game here. Again, very small, very uh, tiny abandoned spa, nothing crazy, but that is really about it. And this is a local spot I've gone to a lot of times, you know, brought other people here. Oh, garden hose. I don't think I've ever actually noticed this. Abandoned garden hose right there. Oh, and then pizza place. Original Pizza of Boston. They got one in Auburn, Maine, one in Lincoln, Rhode Island. I don't know if you guys can read that. Original Pizza of Boston. Main office, Lincoln, Rhode Island. And they got, a, they got one in Auburn, Maine, which I believe is near Lewiston. That's interesting. I do, the only original Pizza of Boston I personally know is there's one, um, what highway is it off of? I think 93. I could be wrong. I think it's off 93 on one of those exit plazas. I don't know. I recognize the name Original Pizza Boss, and I think that's on an exit plaza somewhere. So that's not local to this area. So I don't know why the fuck that's here. Someone went a long way to go get mediocre pizza. But yeah, this is the abandoned garage. Nothing crazy. I just wanted to show you guys. I wanted to give you guys a quick little video of a niche abandoned spot that you've probably never heard of and will probably never go to. <laughs> I didn't want to leave you guys hanging for this week. I know I didn't put out a video on my typical Tuesday uploading schedule, um, but still glad you guys joined me on another abandoned exploration here in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. I will show you guys the exterior really quick, but honestly, that is about it. Oh, and the other thing I should mention too, there's virtually no graffiti here. There's a little, you got stuff like this, some random spray paint, but no serious tags or graffiti here. And that just goes to show you, this is not a well-known spot. Okay guys, so we're back in the very buggy and mosquito infested woods. Um, I just wanted to show you the exterior a little bit more, nothing too crazy, but yeah, this is the abandoned garage from the outside. That's where we walked in, but then you have one garage door here, one garage door here, 
So that really makes me believe this was some sort of garage. Whether it was a shop or a house or attached to another building, I mean, that's up to your imagination, but this was most definitely a garage or a shed of some sort. Not too much back there. I've gone back there before. It's pretty much empty, but this is the side, uh, the right side of the building. And then we'll go to the left side right over here. Just walk by one more time. It is also extremely dark in there. I'll show you what it looks like without my flashlight. Check that out. This is the inside of the garage without my flashlight. Super dark. I don't know. I just remember the very first time I went in there. It was pretty creepy. I don't remember what year it was. Maybe like 2017, 2018. I discovered it many years ago. Okay, and then this is the left side of the building. Right here. This is arguably the most destroyed side. You might remember right over there is where the uh, collapsed roof was right here. So this is the left side. And then one thing you'll notice in the distance right over there, there is some other debris. Nothing crazy though. It's like an oil drum. Looks like there used to be a shed there. Actually, go over really quick. It is nothing crazy though, just an oil drum. What looks like probably was a shed at some point, but it's completely decimated. So I just head through these thick weeds. Yeah, so there's, there's this weird debris right here. I'm not even really sure what it is or what to even say about it. Yep, oil drum. Random bullshit in here, bottles trash two tires two pretty big tires i will say and then a completely decimated shed that's why i don't really think this is a shed because why would there be a big shed here and a small shed here doesn't make any sense but yeah this was the mysterious and obscure abandoned garage here in tingsboro massachusetts a local spot i've been to many times nothing crazy i know not the most riveting abandoned site and I typically like to have history for you guys, but still, I just want to bring you guys along with me. Sometimes abandoned spots aren't so crazy and hype. Sometimes, you know, they're just fun little excursions, but I still had a great time showing you. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been Jay Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. And today we checked out a mysterious abandoned garage here in the town of Tingsboro, Massachusetts. I know nothing crazy, but still a really cool abandoned site. I'm glad I got to bring you guys along with me. This is a spot I'm very familiar with, have been going here for several years now. Uh, I don't know, just a cool one to me and definitely pretty sentimental. But yeah, just want to show you this pretty cool abandoned garage. Maybe someday I'll find out what the history of this place is or any details or information. As of right now, I don't have anything, but I'll definitely do a lot more research um, as I edit this video, see if anything comes up. But as of right now, I don't know anything about this. It's a completely mysterious and obscure spot. But I'm glad I got to bring you guys along with me on this somewhat supplemental exploration video. As always, guys, my name is Jay Mass. If you love urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites, and exploring New England, I always do that on this channel. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. Or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial. That's at jmassofficial. But I've been Jay Mass. So this has been the abandoned garage here in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. And I am completely getting swarmed and covered by mosquitoes right now. And uh, not a big fan of it. So, catch you guys later. I'm going to go douse myself in bug spray and then take a shower later. See ya.